Danny. It was just another nightmare. It was the same one, Rodimus. A giant Galvatron was chasing me through this really awful place. The next time you have that nightmare, imagine me fighting the giant Galvatron. That's right. Thanks, Rodimus. He'll be okay. <laughs> Why, thank you. You're the first person I've met who likes it. Springer and I picked up an electromagnetic disturbance. First time I've ever seen such activity in these parts. First time I've ever seen these parts. This ghost sticking to us like creepy glue. He is right behind me, isn't he? Not the best place for a party. Fox so thick you could cut it with a laser beam. I just, I've got the worst taste in men. Abracadabra, hocus pocus, and with this magic hold, ready, set, I turn you into an ugly, disgusting dog. Strange, 
We have no effect on the monsters, but they can destroy each other. <laughs> A bucket of water? But why? Abracadabra! <laughs> You know that would work. I spent time talking TV with Rekgar. Well, whoever's behind this appears to be providing us with weapons. But why? The human is resisting us. He cares so much for his Autobot friends. His subconscious mind is helping them. Increase the power. We will make the human do what we want. <sighs> Less of the chances of the human sending any further resistance to his Autobot friends. When this experiment is completed, we will let long last regain control over Cybertron. <laughs> Transformers Generation 1 will return after these messages. We now return to Transformers Generation 1. Invented me pie Monday. You should call it Maze Me Pies because it's so cool. Oh, indeed. Oh, Kyrie, I must ask you, what are those? Oh, yes, these are the new Kyrie Five Geeks in honor of Sir SpongeBob SquarePants. Well, there's gotta be a way out of here. There's always a way out. <laughs> Wait till the guards come, then we'll dismantle them. Say, I have an idea, but I need your help, Razor Claw. Is this dangerous, my Springer? Heck, what's a little danger among friends? Razor Claw, will you help? Uh, what do you want from me, Autobot? My plan can't fail. Here's what we're gonna do. There must be something around here to fight with. Look! There's no doubt about it now. Someone is helping us. This world is almost like some nightmare gone mad. But who's behind it? Who? Now what? If you want the droid, you're going to have to come and get him. Don't it! Take but all the stuff you stole is going. Let's see if you have the stuff for a Something here has got to start making sense! You can do it, Springer! 
house. But I have a feeling we're not in it for a fun time. Get away from me! Some reason it's always funny. Like in Danny's nightmare. Hold on, headstrong. He's not the real thing. Look how big he is. Strong. Galvatron's times and be any size he wants. Galvatron, it is about time you've come. We need you here. Transformers Generation 1 will return after these messages. We now return to Transformers Generation 1. Vixen now. Glad to be of service. I'm but very the question happy. now is how do we return to the others? Oh, I can lead you there. It's the least I can do. Honey, I meant this. Paul was the one I didn't trust. But how? We followed this road. A yellow brick road? I don't believe any of this. I hope you two have an explanation for this.
never existed. She was in Danny's mind. Ah, the fantasy is over, Rodimus Prime. Enough fun for one day. Ah. If that's his idea of fun, what does he consider a bad time? Ah, but the battle between the Predacons and the Autobots continues. Trick or treat, huh? We'd never go there. It isn't in our nature, and nothing can change that. You don't get to joke. Not today. I just took a bullet for you. Predacons form Predaking! Headstrong form Predaking! I can't look at my way! That's no fantasy, Razorclaw. Predacons transform and retreat! Let's take him home. You got it. Rodimus! Rodimus! I'm here, Danny. You had another nightmare. It's been the worst one of all. But I did what you said. I called on a giant Rodimus to fight the giant Galvatron. And you won. You controlled your dream. That means you won't have any more nightmares. Really? No more giant Galvatrons and no more snake monsters. Hey, how'd you know about the snake monsters? <laughs> you got the touch. From the secret files of Teletran 2. In the days of Megatron, Decepticons developed the art of espionage using cassette technology. Their first cassette, Laserbeak, could fly undetected into any Autobot stronghold, record information, and then return to base. Then the Decepticons decided to increase their spying abilities with Ratbat. As a bat, Ratbat can hide in crevices that Laserbeak can't reach, and he's especially effective in tunnels, caves, or in the darkness of space. Ratbat reports on the Autobots' most carefully guarded secrets. The Autobots had no choice but to strike back at these Decepticon techniques of stealth, building a force of cassette transformers of their own with Blaster as their guardian. They constructed Ramhorn, the Rhino, who can use animalistic force if cornered, and Steeljaw, the Lion, who can crawl through the foliage of any alien world to sneak up on Decepticons. They also bolstered their cassette force with Rewind and Eject, who can transform to robot mode and use more conventional fighting force techniques. 